I am addicted to being a baby and wearing diapers. He's like shaking her head like, yeah, yeah. And then the diaper part, she's like, but what does that mean? Uh, uh, wait. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Does she have to wipe herself or? <laughs> Hello, buddy. Hey, hey, no, me. Pity <laughs> uh, <laughs> here with me. Yay. Go ahead, Ken. All right. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. We're checking out Addicted to Living as an Adult Baby on My Strange Addiction, which we can yeah. relate to, of course. You know? Our... We're adult children, clearly, <laughs> from that intro. <laughs> exactly. First off, everyone, guess her age. Comment 64. <laughs> uh, 48. I'm guessing 48. We'll see who wins. My name is Riley. I'm 25 years old. I Damn it! No! You beat me. <laughs> yes. Oh, I should do the Price is Right thing where I guess one number below you. I think... <laughs> Missed opportunity. Dang it. So basically, this, this woman just decided adulthood? Nah. I ain't doing that. Nah. It's this nah. the birds. I ain't doing it. So every woman ever, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding right yeah of course of course I'm sorry mary don't be it's a joke <laughs> <Marcia>. <laughs> Cut that out. Out. Cut it now. <laughs> no it's okay leave it leave it just only make felix say it and don't make me say it first off right yeah it's 64 Buffalo, New York. Who, who's the editor My name is Ray <laughs> scott save me scott please <laughs> Yikes! I live outside of Buffalo, New York, and I'm addicted to being an adult baby. But that's not an addiction. You're mm. just—you <laughs> can't just call it an addiction I just because it's something you're doing. I think this is like a lifestyle more than it is an addiction, right? Yeah, it's a lifestyle, dude. I just do hard drugs. It's a like crack cocaine. It's a lifestyle, my dude. Look at this. This is so so comfy. So she sleeps in a crib, basically. This looks comfy. Honestly, can't can't hate it so far. Mm -hmm. Well, I like I'm liking what I'm seeing here. I dress as a baby as often as I can. Oh no! Whenever you ruined I come it. Home. Don't do the pacifier. That's mm. weird. Oh, I always slip into one of my cute little outfits, and it helps me wash away all the stress of the big tough world. But oh, she has to deal with certain things anyway. Right. Right. She, she and hang on. <laughs> Clothes. And what the, ooh, what? Hey, hey, baby won't have that. What is going you on here? That? I did not notice that at all. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on a minute. Why are they naked? Mm, I think I know where this is going already. Oh boy. I love pajamas, especially footy pajamas. Things with ruffles and pink. I love having my hair in pigtails and sucking on my pacifier. The pacifier thing's gotta go. We never even let our kids like have these. Like the, really, Ma Mary calls them dummies. Yeah, we never used them. So like, they don't know about the, the glorious pacifier, <laughs> dude. I had pacifier for way too long. Oh no, you were those. That's what we didn't want our kids I, to be. We didn't want our kids I, to be a freaking twenty-five year old adult sucking on a pacifier. So we didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you when you stopped using your pacifier? I used to have this weird thing where I would suck on my finger. Like my pointy finger. And then I would wiggle the back of my hair like a spinneroonie. And oh. that to me, it was just like ultimate comfort. Mm. It didn't get better than that. And I tried to like branch out with this idea to other kids. I was like, guys, the best <laughs> way, you got to listen to me here. Uh, Cause I figured this shit out. Yeah. I was an innovator at an early age, you see. <laughs> wow. <yeah. laughs> then my mom said I would go bald if I do it. So I thought. <laughs> play with your hair yeah. Like, yeah you'll go bald and your teeth will be crooked stop doing it she robbed me of my glory how they, could you mom they they have their places if you're a parent and your kids are still screaming and you just need a second you know and they want it sure okay they like, Shut the up. yeah yeah but we so never that's what they are basically so that just means that was a loud baby huh yeah yeah <laughs> it's a big ba it's, well it's called a pacifier you know you pacify things you know you gotta, oh. you gotta... But, then, but then my wife calls them dummies because it's a stand-in nip. But anyway, okay. 12 hours a day dressed as a baby. That's over 4,000 hours a year. Whoa, Whoa the stats. Thank you, Jesus. TLC, for the unnecessary stats. Oh, Thank you. That's even like crazier, that big number all of a sudden. Oh. She does her one-hour email and taxes and bills, <laughs> and then she's done. That's it. She's like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm a baby now. Baby mode. I started wearing diapers when I was about 13. No. Kind of gradually turned into. Oh, no. Dude, you know. Oh, no. You know she uses those things, too. 
That's this is the thing. A lot of adult people wear diapers as a secret, Ken. You well, hear about this? No, I don't know about this. I mean, I can understand yeah. if they have like, you know, issues, like health issues, they need them. No, no, no. They just like it. It's comfortable. There's a whole no. sub community. Don't no. ask me why I know this. There's a whole sub community of people wearing diapers and they talk about different type of diapers and absorption. How they, could, how they tell their partner that they like wearing diapers. Huh. It always comes to that point, right? In the relationship. Listen up, sit down. I'm sitting. Yeah. <laughs> You, you notice how annoying it is to always have to go to the bathroom, right? Right, right. Yeah, getting up and going. Right. Yeah. Right. What if there, I could tell you, there's a way to get past all that inconvenience. Oh, really? Well, yeah, tell me more. I am an adult and I sh my pants. Come on. <laughs> have you ever seen the video of like the old man in the grocery store? It's like on the security camera and he like starts shaking his leg. And a poop comes out of his pocket, or not his pocket, but his oh, pants wow. leg, and he kicks it under the, he kicks it no. under the stuff. It's <laughs> horrifying. What a legend! <laughs> he just poops his pants and just so... shakes it out of his pants leg. Wow! <laughs> just shake it out and kicks it out. Hey, get that shit away from me. People that wear, who cares that if they wear like diapers? A... They're not hurting anybody. You know, whatever. What? What? No, say? they are. They are. They're hurting. That sounds like a weird superpower of like. You're in a you're in a tight situation, right? She's shaking, turning. People your are robbing, they're robbing the bank. You're like, this is my moment. Hold up, Let's squeeze one out. Kick it in front of the robbers. They slip on Bigger. it. <laughs> and that's kids. This is how I save the day. <laughs> wow, Grandpa, it's an amazing story. I want to poop my pants. Well, what I was thinking about with her wearing the diaper, right, and using them. I wonder if she has a boyfriend that she tries to get to change her. That's what I wonder. Well. I'm, I'm sure we'll find oh, out if that's the case. God, I hope not. All right. I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to have a normal life doing this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Riley's friend James is oh, one of the... Oh! Friend? What kind of friend? Uh, just a friend. Mm -hmm. He's wearing all that denim, you Does know? Does that make him... Uh... What? I don't want to say it, and we'll demonetize your video. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, we're past the 30-second like, mark. It should be okay now, right? <laughs> Well, I don't know whether I don't know if she had doing about as a child. Oh, wait, I think I know where you're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why are you Ooh. friends, huh? Someone's getting canceled, you know? <laughs> Ain't me. Him. Mm. Cancel both of them. All of them. This is James Charles? Who puts blanket over their sofa like that? Stop it. Ooh, James. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to catch it. Got that know. in there. I know it's something that is oh. very unique to me, oh. and I definitely don't tell people unless I think they're going to be okay with this. It's my little secret. But if she's a baby 12 hours a day, surely people know about it, right? Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of the irony of the whole show, right? You're like, not a lot of people know about this, and you know, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> but here's, you know, six million people that watch this video itself. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, she said she was, she used to be, so maybe now she's. Oh, yeah, now she's cool with it. She's public and cool with our degeneracy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I said a word. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> You know, they, you know, you never, in today's society, you never want to shame anybody for anything. But there's some things in this world you should be ashamed of, you know? Just saying. You should be ashamed. <laughs> Absolutely. Shame is the most powerful tool there is. I don't understand why we don't shame more. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, as long as you're staying indoors and not, you know, walking out to, like, the, hanging out with the kids at the park, then, you know, everything's cool. That seems fine. I, know, I just played it in my head that I was like, oh, my God, I hope <laughs> Later in the video, that <laughs> yeah. happened. Yeah, stay the f away from my child, uh, kiddo. Riley is also transgender. She was born a male. But well, we're canceled, Ken. Congratulations. <laughs> Shit. 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 Please. I believe that gender is something that you can choose. I very much believe that I'm a girl. Good for good for her. The baby thing's still weird. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think that's a bit much for just hanging out with the two of us? I kind of like it. It makes me kind of feel younger and like a kid and stuff. Yeah, having like a sleepover with your friend. You're over here having some juice. If I had to pick any age to like identify as, I wouldn't pick baby. You wouldn't pick baby? No, nah, I would pick like 12 or some shit. That's the best age. The best age is 12? Yeah. 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 Well, it's like right before you start having like all these weird hormones and feelings yeah. and get angsty and stuff, you know, you're, you're uh -huh. enjoying no, life. No angst, just chilling. Yeah. Grades yeah. and stuff hasn't become important yet. <laughs> yeah, you can count to 10 and spell, then you're okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're playing <laughs> hockey, street hockey with your friends, Wait, jump on trampolines I don't know about all the that. that the rich kid had. I just played my, I played my Nintendo back then when I was 12. That's all, you know. I didn't really play games when I was really young. Did no. you not? No, my, no. my dad was the Dad's like, go outside, go do something. I was like, no, we're gonna save the princess. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, my, my parents didn't want me to play too much video games and look with the, how that worked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my parents the same thing. Like they're, they're happy, they're proud. They're like they even say it. They're like, wow, <laughs> worked out, dude. You could you could be a Darman sketch. Oh my god, us, heck right? yeah, it's in That's the toast Couch gang, heck yeah. She spends nearly $400 a month on accessories like diapers, baby powder, and bottles. Oh. She wears diapers so it's an expensive lifestyle, huh? Yeah, you see how much baby powder is just chunking on that diaper? Ooh, man, she must be chafing. That's a lot of baby powder. Oh, I, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know about I that? I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know I about that? I wouldn't the... know anything. How mm. fast can you change, change a diaper? You how got fast? 10 seconds. Can you do it? In 10 seconds? Well, it depends if there's poop or not, but the diaper part, yeah, easy. But wiping the oh, butt, mm, that's a little different story. You gotta wipe. What do you think happens to poop? I, I guess I never thought about it. Oh. What do you mean you never? Th what do you mean you never <laughs> thought about it? Well, I never thought about how I change a diaper on a baby. What, what do you think? Okay, you got a diaper, right? It's like pretty much on your butt, I, and you poop kids into will it. Only eat fiber, so I will never have to wipe their asses. Let me tell you, <laughs> it's gonna come <laughs> bricks at. <laughs> I, I, hate, to, anyone, I hate to tell you, but they poop, they no, take a poop in the diaper. No, you don't even no, know they pooped yet, and they're like no, sitting down and to... smearing it. Oh yeah, poopy diapers, man. Can you wipe it with newspaper stuff? Like, oh, like... <laughs> it's wet wipes. You gotta use the wet wipes. I don't know what you're saying, Ken? Like you're you're never gonna have now now you're you're, you're never gonna have children because you're like I gotta wipe the bottom. No, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. You better get a nanny. <laughs> Listen, Mary, Mary, you're watching this video. I mean. Yeah, I know I like leave the room sometimes when I smell the poop before you do, but I appreciate I appreciate all these diapers you change. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, the, the one that I recognize it has to be the one dealing with it, right? So you're just like, oh, mm. I, don't, I don't notice anything at all. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to head out. It's like, yeah, go give your mom a hug. And then they go over there and she's like, do I smell a poopy diaper? And I'm like, <laughs> I love you, Mary. Thank you. Well, these are definitely my favorite type of diapers, the briefs. They're the crinkliest, they're the Ooh. most absorbent, and they have the tapes on them. So, so you, you want actually crinkliness? have to go through the whole process. Of they're the most absorbent. So, so she is just using them. They're the most absorbent. Oh. What do you think she was using them for? Well, I mean, I... does she have to wipe herself or? <sighs> I don't know. I'm still waiting for like the, the friend to come in there and with the All wipes. Right. <laughs> the feeling of release and the feeling of comfort of a, of a warm, wet diaper is is really something that is very special to me very special that's special hmm. that's the that's the special part is peeing on yourself life is full of possibilities ken you can seek joy in many things and huh. some seek joy in the warmness of their own urine <sighs> how is it special that's such a strange way to phrase it yeah, I, I don't know just i like to like sit in baths Listen, i guess i like I, oh go ahead sorry no nah, that's all i had that was <laughs> Well, you know, when you're swimming in the ocean and you're like, well, you know, oh. you know. Yeah, well, I mean. You're... It feels good, not going to lie, but I wouldn't go, that's just, just, this is special. Well, that's just like the natural part of just like release. You're like, ah, oh, it always feels good to use the bathroom if you're holding it. I don't know, the warm. What about the coldness afterwards? Like you pee and then it's like, oh, it's so warm and then it's not. What's special is the fact that you, you pee and then no one else knows about it. And you're just like. Right. But oh. does she wipe? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you just wonder about the wipe. <laughs> I just don't understand. I, this is new to me. I, oh god! I can't. How, how does it? How is a dirty diaper new to you? I don't understand. I haven't used one in probably twenty something years. Uh, all right. Wait, twenty? How old are you? You're thirty. Oh my god! Do you want the specific maps? Okay, twenty-seven. Yes. You wore a diaper. Twenty-nine. I don't know when you wear diapers. <laughs> I don't have a consciousness yet. <laughs> you didn't have a god. <laughs> what do you want from me? I don't have a child like you, Cam. How am I supposed to know <sighs> that you have to wipe them? You don't wipe the pee, do you? It goes into a diaper that absorbs it, and it just it, it makes it spread, why can't right? The, why can't the poop? Why can't the poop be absorbed? Because it's a solid, and pee is a liquid. <laughs> so it's solid, then you don't need to wipe it. Ow! <laughs> you just got outwitted, bitch. No! I Let's play the f video. Different ways. Sometimes it makes me feel really happy. Babies don't wear glasses, do they? <laughs> my, 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 my kid does. My kid has glasses. I'm all blessed up by seeing. Yeah, so cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Riley hasn't been able to find a long term relationship. Her life would probably be a lot easier if she didn't do this. I'm sure there's someone out there. 
there's someone out there watching this video now that's like, yeah, mm, mm, yeah, I like yeah. that, yeah, yeah. Mm, I mean, there, there's mm. there's strange addictions of people that like taking care of like adult kids. So mm -hmm. yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Yep. I do wet my diapers, but mm. I don't do anything else in them. I oh. never have to use public restrooms, which is you know something that is very lovely because public restrooms are horrible. What? That's does the, she do it or not? That's the no. It's just the only thing she does is pee in it. But that's oh, the, okay. that's the smartest thing that I've ever heard. Actually, she doesn't have to use public restrooms. Oh, <sighs> public restrooms in America, Felix. They're the Tell worst. Me all about them. They're the worst. <laughs> First off, you go into the stall to take a poop, right? Mm -hmm. The the old man next door is just exploding, just like out loud, just <laughs> just letting it have it. Everybody that walks into the bathroom can see you because the gaps in the doors are freaking like, are huge. And why are people looking in? Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> not why do sure. they want to make it the most humiliating experience to go in a public bathroom? Then you have the door I... locked and you see the feet appear in front of you and someone <laughs> pulls the door and they don't just like pull it, like, you know, shake it a little bit. They like put their whole weight into it to like the whole door bends I'm almost right, off. Door the locked, you better pull harder. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you put paper before so it doesn't splash? Well, the toilet paper is usually so thin that you probably don't even want to do that. It'll just like absorb into <laughs> your skin. Then you got to wipe for like 30 minutes because the, the paper doesn't even like collect anything. It's just smears it around. More. Might as well be newspapers at that point. Yeah. So a diaper would Sounds be better lovely. than that. All right. My, she, she's got a good point. Yep. Sold on the diaper. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Three diapers every day. That's a thousand diapers a year. What? Thank Three you, people know of Riley's Something. closest friends for over friend. seven okay. years. But oh. because Candace lives in another town, she has no idea Riley is living most of her life as a baby. She doesn't know. Oh, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. I, I don't have any idea what's going on, but I hope everything's okay. She looks terrified. Yeah, I would be too. Like <laughs> the cameras are here. About that? Gotta... How would you react if I came out like that, Ken? There's a secret. We had cameras in your house, and you sat me down, and you're like, there's something I have to show you. I got it. You got to see this. Listen, you hate public bathrooms, right? <laughs> <laughs> I am a public bathroom. <laughs> no! <laughs> now, if, if, if you sat me down and did something like this, I'd think I'd be looking around like, is this a prank? Are you about to prank me, bro? <laughs> this is definitely a video. What are you Scare doing? PewDiePie season three. <laughs> yeah. PewDiePie scares you. Oh, God. Public bathroom stories. Whew. So, well, that's not too what bad. What I wanted to tell you yeah. was that I am addicted to being a baby and wearing diapers. <laughs> <laughs> He's like shaking her head like, yeah, yeah. And then the diaper part, she's like, but what does that mean? Uh, wait. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wonderful little room. It's my nursery. She's speechless. Gonna... Okay, but why do you have a picture of yourself on the right there? What, what, is, what is that about? Okay. I won't ask because I don't want to know. No, no. <laughs> I was curious at the beginning of the show, but now, I'd, yeah, yep. Yeah, that was fine. Whatever, you do whatever you want. You do you. Um, it was definitely a surprise. Oh. This, uh, this crib is really awesome. I kind of built oh, she's it cringing. scratch out of an old, uh, you know. Oh, God. It's like she can't hold it anymore. She's oh, more and more oh, like, oh, oh. Oh, oh what? Check out my crib, girl. Dang, look at this thing. Newest like, model. Can't be canceled. What do I say? The supportive friends yes. have to be, but where do I draw the line? Uh, uh, forgive me for being a little. <laughs> well, I didn't do this because I, you know, wanted to shock you or anything. You know, we've been friends for a long time. Well, I'm glad but... you told me. But are you? Are you glad? I'm glad you told me. That sounded sincere, right? Yeah. I didn't want to shock you or anything, but uh, basically just brought you into my room and you know, ground zero with the cameras on with you. Cameras. <laughs> Don't mean to shock. Don't mean to put you on the spot at all. Yeah. That's not what we did here at all. You know, I never got a chance to be a little girl, you know? I mean, I grew up as a little boy. And, and so it's nice to be able to create new memories. I don't have myself. a single memory of being a baby. Yeah. Not a one. Hey, I don't. I don't think I was like until it was like five my five my fifth year old birthday party that I even like really remember anything. Is that your earliest memory? Yeah, because I remember it because on the day it was my birthday, I woke up and my first thought was, "How can I see?" Like I had that thought of like how do eyeballs work, and I was so confused. <laughs> what a philosopher I at a young like, age! Huh? I was like, "How does this work? How does this work?" And I was so confused. And I asked my mom, and she couldn't, you know. She, <laughs> She tried to explain it to me, but it was above my head. I couldn't understand it. This is funny how you ask things as a child and you're not even answered 
because it's like too complex right so yeah you just like believe in magic until a certain point it's like what yeah we kind of got to do that with our kids right now it's like how, do, yeah. how does this work it's like well it just kind of you know i'll explain it to you but then it's confusing it's like it's magic it's magic bro i remember asking like we, we had this chart of ever like how animals evolve i'm like how did that happen <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what is this? Uh, uh, I remember the teacher saying, oh, so we developed lungs so we could breathe on land. I'm like, how though? <laughs> how, how, do, how do we do that? How did that happen? <laughs> I remember telling my teacher, I'm like, well, there has to be like some sort of uh, entity to make that happen. I mean, it's just not going to happen on itself. And my teacher was like, yes, Felix. I'm like, what the fuck? Bitch, explain evolution. <laughs> I was ready. I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> it was mutations. Yeah. <laughs> I was so shocked when we taught evolution in like eighth class or something. I'm like, what took so long? Oh, my God. I don't even get I, the, the topic of evolution where I live is like freaking taboo. Like the, oh, the Baptist it's church a theory. is going to come out. It's just theory like yeah. everything else yeah sounding like a theory weird. that you're a dumbass sorry <laughs> that, well, excuse me what kind of hypothesis is this i don't believe it <laughs> well i mean obviously it was a shock walking in but i'm really glad you told me <laughs> the like, face looks fresh i'm really glad you told me it's like looks breaks eye contact so i can leave i think it changes I mean, I if it's not hurting anyone who cares yeah, exactly. right? at the end of the day as long as no one's being hurt you do it do what you yeah. want to do if it's like a kink kind of thing like people on these shows like to go out in public with it. There's a lot of yeah, and that's bad. Yeah, that, that, that's not I cool. But don't like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Riley tells to follow her friends James advice. She invites a therapist to make a home visit. Oh, oh interesting. Okay, therapist coming mm -hmm. over. Oh, mm -hmm. what, the, what does the professional say? This is a this is a rare treat for these videos. Usually we just yeah. like yeah, make up is. our own stuff here. Now we got something <laughs> real. When I was in eighth grade, I was thrown down stairs by just a bully and i broke both of my wrists at, at that point but that's quite old was, eighth grade isn't it yeah that's not baby yes. that's not baby age you can't get bullied as a baby How did anything, that affect babies me? don't get bullied enough <laughs> they just go around thinking they own the place <laughs> waking you up in the middle of the yeah, night crying whatever they want <laughs> uh, why is someone bullying babies oh my god we need to normalize that we had to take our kids onto a flight when they were babies <laughs> when you get on the plane and someone has their kids and you hear them like it annoys you but you don't you know you can't say anything to them but being mm -hmm. that person that has the kids doing that oh it's torture <laughs> oh god I'm, glad, I'm actually relieved to hear that that at least you know as long as the parents are suffering oh, i'm they, okay they're just like god oh we're those people right now oh but we can't do anything about it Ugh. yeah well your your baby great yeah you can bring your uh, baby machine screaming <laughs> thing on the plane but i can't bring my dog who's super nice that everyone <laughs> like a cute little he will just be quiet not bother anyone but yeah go ahead and bring your baby are you are you comparing your dogs to my babies is that what you're doing right yeah now? You be yeah, one, are you being one of those people <laughs> yeah, I am because it makes no sense. Oh, they have to weigh a certain amount. I'm like, oh, you're gonna scale babies then? Huh? You're gonna wear and weigh the baby to make sure you're not too fat to go. That's a whole. That's a that's a whole other topic right there to go down. <laughs> Let me go with my dog. I want to go with my dog on the plane. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can ship them through cargo. Oh, like that's yeah. Uh, you can I ship you in cargo, bitch. Take babies in cargo. Why not? Yeah, baby in cargo. Problem solved. <sighs> baby cargo. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go have a couple of kids and tell me how much you want to put them in the cargo versus like your your dog. Hey, okay? yeah, go wipe your child's ass, can I don't give a. F I let your dog crap on the floor. All right. <laughs> I, I challenge you a little bit on feeling like this aspect isn't very strongly related to your experience. Like, I hear you, but that has nothing to do with what's going on here. So <laughs> I love the way I live my life, and I'm going to continue being an adult baby. Yeah, there you go. Keep on doing yeah. it. You did it. Yeah, yeah. did it. Right, you're going in cargo during the airplane ride, <laughs> just so you know. That's the deal. Listen, oh, okay, it's different. Okay, it's different. I get it. It's not the same. I'm just joking. I almost had to flex out of my dad's shirt over here. It's like, what did you see? Put my kids in cargo. What did you? Like the only thing that the, the whole airplane thing that I wish would happen is they would just make airplanes actually comfortable because flying is miserable for everyone it's trash find a new way make planes better <laughs> please Fly, flying car flying cars please flying no, cars is... i want a jet i want a jet pack flying jet packs for the baby yes that's right anyway thank you guys very much for watching the video <laughs> leave a comment do all that cool stuff check out pewdiepie if he gets one more subscriber that's one more subscriber he gets oh, or whatever it says scott thanks for the twitter shout out every time i appreciate no, it <laughs> yeah he doesn't use twitter anymore but thank you anyway <laughs> Uh, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. Stay toasty, my friends, and I love you more than Felix loves kids. I hate them. <laughs>